What's up everybody, this is Danny, and I've been using the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge for about a week now, and my full review is right around the corner, so make sure you subscribe for that one. But a lot of people on Twitter have been asking me, what is on your Galaxy S7? So I have it all themed out, I can't wait to show you what's on it, but I'm gonna start with what I'm filming with right now. The app is called Filmic Pro, and this is the quality that you're gonna get out of the front-facing camera on the Galaxy S7. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're anything like me and like to shoot a lot of smartphone video, then you need to check out Filmic Pro. It gives you a ton of manual controls when you're shooting smartphone video. So there's an area here for focus and also an area here for exposure. You can move those around the screen and most importantly, you can lock both of those. Basically what this does is it turns your phone into almost like a DSLR. You have controls over your white balance, your ISO, your shutter speed, you have manual focus. You can even check your audio levels to make sure that they're not peaking. I mean, that's just scratching the surface. You can do focus pulls. This app is crazy powerful. You can create custom presets, which is nice, so you don't have to keep putting in all these values. And what's awesome is you have full control of your resolution as well, all the way up to 4K to 2K, even DCI Cinema Standard to Super 35 Cinema Scope. You have a lot of control here. I highly recommend this. The Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge have some of the best build quality ever seen on a phone. But there's one major drawback, and that is the same glass construction, and you get a ton of fingerprints on it, and it is also pretty slippery. If you're not a fan of cases, then I suggest you install a dbrand skin just like I did. They have tons of customization options. I chose the carbon fiber for my black Onyx S7, and it looks amazing. And I also have a titanium metal skin on my Galaxy S7 Edge. If you have the silver titanium model, this is definitely the color combo to get. The skins will add a little bit more grip to your phone, keep that sexy profile of the S7 and S7 Edge, and eliminates those fingerprints. I highly suggest it. Links below if you want to pick one up. Since I'm not a huge fan of the way the Samsung interface looks, I'm not a big fan of the icons and things, so I'd rather have it look more like this, more like the Nexus stock Android experience, and this is possible through Nova Launcher. I've been using Nova Launcher for years. It's one of the fastest and easiest to use launchers and I absolutely love it. There are other great launchers out there too, but Nova is just my launcher of choice. So to get this stock look, I was able to blow up my icons to 120% to match that Nexus type look. And then I was able to revert back to the Marshmallow 6.0 icon pack, which is already included. And outside of Nova Launcher, if you go into themes and go into the theme store, you can download Material Dark, which will give you those dark menus and give you that more of a material look. If you're wondering about the wallpaper, that is the Android N wallpaper. What's great about Nova Launcher is it does not affect your edge features, so you won't lose any functionality there. If I had to pick just one social network, I have to probably say Twitter is my favorite and Phoenix is my favorite client for Android. And the reason why is because you can change your appearance, your syncing times, everything on here. You have full control of how it looks. And I love the dark theme on this AMOLED display. The blacks popped super hard and the colors are so punchy on here. And the material theme is so nice looking. It's really clean. I love how your mentions and your notifications are all tabbed out so you don't get lost so if you haven't had the chance to use phoenix i definitely recommend this it's the best twitter client out there for android i'm not a huge app user so i like to keep things pretty clean i have youtube on here just to catch up with my favorite youtube videos studio to keep up with my metrics on youtube of course some banking stuff here and there and of course you have to have netflix and hulu because i got to catch up on my favorite shows this way whenever I have time that is. So Spotify for my music, it's my streaming service of choice. Of course, I probably don't have to show you that, but I do use Aftership because I do buy a lot of things. I have a lot of stuff shipped to my house. So this is one of the cleanest apps. It's free. There's no bloat stuff on here whatsoever. You can just add a shipment that easily right from your clipboard. And then it will just give you push notifications whenever things move. And then you can check on it anytime to see where your package is. Nice, clean way to keep it organized. 
This next app is a little bit more like a tweak, but it's called Chroma Keyboard and basically takes the stock Google Keyboard and changes it to match the color of your background or app. So you can see on Twitter there, it changed it blue. And if you go into YouTube, then it matches its red color. So I think this is just kind of fun. It's based off the Google stock keyboard, which I use all the time. It's my keyboard of choice. And I think it just brings a little bit of a fun flair to your everyday. So it is a paid app, but I think it's totally worth it. So go ahead and give it a try. I'm not the biggest gamer, but I do use the game launcher on here on the S7 and S7 Edge. And what it does is kind of congregates all of your games that are on here. And I do have a few games, but the one that I get asked about the most is this one called Leo's Fortune. You might have seen this on some of my other videos and on the comments, I get this all time. What game is that? What game is that? This is called Leo's Fortune. It's got some awesome graphics. It's simple. It's got great gameplay. I think you'll love it. So give it a download. So those are the apps that I use most on the Galaxy S7, and most of them work really well. But some of them can be a little bit buggy. Like Filmic Pro, it can get crashy and it can get a little buggy here compared to the iOS version. So in my frustration, I wish that there was a one button that I can just click and get to a customer service rep right then and there to help me out with the app. You may think this is not possible with today's technology, but it is with the sponsor of this video, Citrix Concierge. Concierge is a open SDK that you can put into any app, iOS or Android, to give you a live customer service rep with just one touch of a button. So let's say that you're using Apple Maps and you get lost. Happens all the time. So you can just hit one button there and get to a live customer service rep and they can get you on the right path or just tell you to download Google Maps. Or there may be some other awesome applications here. So you have to think on Amazon, let's say that you're shopping for some clothes and you need a customer service rep to maybe help you pair things and maybe you don't know how to color match well and they can help you with that. So imagine having this level of customer service on your mobile app, on your computer, anywhere, video or audio stream. I'm personally super excited about it. I hope that developers get super excited about it since the SDK is out right now. And I wanna see some integration of this concierge into some of the most popular apps right now because I think it's extremely helpful and I think it will help us in general. Concierge is available now and there's a free plan that you can sign up for and you can experience it for your team and learn how you can integrate this into your app. If you're a company and you're watching this, this is a great way to retain that customer service and not lose that important money. So businesses, app developers, check out Citrus Concierge. The SDK is available now, and let's bring up this level of customer service. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What's on my Galaxy S7? If you have any questions about anything that I've shown you here, the links are in the description section below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for a lot more content, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.